I was fortunate to join the TIGP family. In TIGP, I learned to think freely without any limitations and do high-end research. I learned that the idea will be done as long as it's reasonable. Everybody here in Taiwan will help you. If you want to use a highly specialized machine that's not in your lab, you'll be able to use it somewhere else here in Taiwan or even abroad uh, after a few calls or emails from your PI. Um, for example, I was sent to the United Kingdom to do uh, work with one professor because we had some, he had some lab facilities and techniques we did not have in our lab. And of course, it was much of fun. We had the chance to visit famous places of London, Cambridge, Oxford, Scotland and others. Uh, yes, definitely. The TIGP administration provides us with periodic lectures and interactive courses conducted by Nobel laureates and other distinguished lecturers. And I have to say that interacted closely with such eminent professors significantly impacted my way of thinking and problem-solving capabilities, not only in research but also in my personal life. TIGP, as the name suggests, is international. You'll find students from all parts of the world having different shapes, cultures, beliefs, religions. They are very different. And that gives a lot of strength to my TIGP multicultural experience. We used to live together in the same dorm, study together, cook together, go shopping together, and so on. That gave me a lot of experience to deal with every kind of person. And I learned a lot about almost every part of the world, about their everyday life, things that I would have never known without living that experience. Yes, I have developed a lot of uh, Taiwanese and international connections through my study in TIGP. I met many officials like the head of Taiwan Food and Drug Administration, FDA, as well as many professors from the United Kingdom, United States of America, Germany, Japan, and India. Uh, TIGP administration takes care of all sides of the student life and implements the students in various social activities, like the Dragon Boat Festival race, which is unforgettable to me because it was my first time and the only time actually to win in a sports competition. Another touching moment was when we collected food, clothes, bed sheets, and such sort of things to the victims of Philippines flooding in 2012, where hundreds of thousands were affected. Uh, oh, I definitely love Taiwan, and I really appreciate the people. I invited my parents to explore the beauty of this island and get in close contact with the Taiwanese citizens. We all agree that Taiwanese people are very friendly and helpful. Almost all the country facilities are running at optimum conditions and very conveniently. The extreme safety here is something that is really unique. I would like to thank my wonderful family for their continuous help and sincere advices they gave me throughout my life. I couldn't have come to Taiwan or done anything without their prayers, encouragement and support. Special thanks go to my mom, whom have been my backbone throughout my times of weakness and strength, and to my dad who dedicated his whole life to build me up and to be what I am today. Thank you.